Uh, this is the regular meeting of the Arts and Culture Commission. Today is January 16th, 2020. Um, seeing that there is a quorum, this meeting is officially called to order. Please rise and pledge uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, Madam Recording Secretary, please take roll call. Commissioner Andre? Present. Commissioner Shaw? Present. Commissioner Garcia? Here. Commissioner Oliva? Here. Here. And for the record, Commissioner Sierra is absent. Well, um, welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday and new year. It's been a little while since we've all met. Um, so uh, getting to business here, let's go ahead with the um, consent calendar. So it, this is time for the commission to consider matters under consent calendar, which are items number one and two. Do any members have any corrections to the minutes, items they wish to pull for separate discussion or abstain on? Um, okay, hearing none. Do I have a motion to consider items one and two? Motion. Okay. I second. Okay. Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. And uh, all those opposed, say no. Okay, the matter is approved by unanimous consent. Um, so we have two work studies for today. Um, please note that there will be no motion or action taken on these items. The first item on the work study session calendar is the presentation of the review panel recommendations for the Willits and Sullivan art installation. Um, and the second will be the work study session uh, on the, uh, for, I'm sorry, the second item on the work study session uh, calendar is the uh, reporting out of the mural policy subcommittee. So, um, thank you, Chair Cha. Um, at, good evening, commissioners. As you see in front of you is the uh, presentation for the public art installation at Willits and Sullivan Beautification Project. Um, uh, on the first page is listed the panelists who were part, who um, reviewed all the applications. There were four applications total. The panelists, there are five panelists, um, Montserrat Alberto, who she's an artist and resident of Santa Ana. Um, Rosa Garcia, who is our very own Arts and Culture Commissioner, Pat Gomez, LA County Arts Department Public Arts Manager, Deanne Katayama, Abraham Lincoln Elementary School Vice Principal, and Susie Ferginick, uh, who is the Associate Park and Landscape Planner for the City of Santa Ana. Uh, on, the follow on the next page are the scores that the panelists um, gave for each of the applications. And as you can see, um, the first artist, Carly Straka, uh, was cl uh, the clear uh, high, highest score. And so she received the recommendation from the panel for this project, um, receiving a total of $18,000 for her public artwork. And on the final page is um, the proposal, uh, her proposal for the, for the public art to be installed there. And you'll also see I gave you a second, a separate page with the artwork blown up a little larger so that you can see some of the details. Um, a few things have been changed based on the recommendations of the panel. For example, she wanted, she initially proposed multicolor butterflies, but then the panel um, and, and I had discussed with her that uh, it would be preferable to have monarch butterflies consistently um, because they represent um, not a, there was a, the monarchs that fly through North America and um, that go from North America down to, I would go from the U.S. up to Canada and then back down to um, Mexico. So that's very relevant and um, meaningful for the, for the community in, in that area. So these butterflies will, not, will be much more, have more the, likeliness, the likeness of a monarch butterfly. And so the artists agreed to that. 
Um, they will be five to six of these, of these sculptures, ranging in size of eight feet by eight feet to two feet by two feet. Um, they'll have a concrete foundation with tiles um, from, that will be created or, or decorated by the uh, students from the elementary school across the street in Abraham Lincoln Elementary School. So they will create and design these tiles, which the artist will then place onto the concrete foundation. Um, and then there would be a pathway through the garden as well so that um, folks can go through and take photos, um, social media photos and, and all of that to help promote the city and you know, the, the, the beautification project itself. Any questions, commissioners? Yes. What, what about lights? Uh, yes, this, um, our office will be providing lights. We, are, we will be working with a separate contractor and the artist will not be responsible for that, but we needed to uh, secure the, or confirm the design first and then we'll bring in um, the contractor to design the lights around that. And do we know what the cost would be? Uh, at this moment, I don't know the exact cost yet, but I will update everybody. Yeah as soon as we, because we, don't, we haven't designed the lights yet, so we don't know exactly. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. But that's a good question, because it does need to be lit. We yes. insisted that it be lit so that, number one, it, it illuminates the beauty of the artwork, yeah. and secondly, it deters, you know, hanging around and things like that. Yeah, yeah vagrancy. So, so then there is a, I'm sorry, there is a budget that has been someone set aside for this Correct. particular Correct, there's project? a budget, a separate budget for okay. the lights. Um, uh, go ahead. I, I have another question. I, uh, is the co the color of the butterflies mixed into the cement or painted on the cement? It's mosaic. So oh, it would it's be, a mosaic. It's on glass. The yes. Okay. That would be. I was yeah, just worried on. about graffiti. Yes, exactly. We were too, and that's why we insisted on materials that would be easily cleaned, yeah. such as mosaic and tile, yeah. and it's easier to clean. Good. Thank you. Um, will the city also be doing some sort of landscaping in that area? There's already landscaping there, but we will work with uh, Public Works to clean it up and uh, clear the area for these, for these sculptures to be placed. Anyone else? I have another question. When is it expected to be in place? We, uh, the agreement is for one year from when she signs in. We're, ho we're meeting with her tomorrow um, and, and to go over the agreement and all. So hopefully... She'll sign it by tomorrow, then it'll start from there. About a year from now. About a year, yeah. yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Does any other commissioner have any other comments or questions? No? Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Tram. Um, so going on to the second item on our work study session calendar, uh, which is the mural policy uh, subcommittee. Um, I think the last time that we were here in October, um, we had um, discussed uh, some of the work that had been done um, up and you know through uh, through October um, that had not yet been quite completed. I think we extended it uh, to report out again, you know, in January. Um, so we have met. Um, let's see, we meaning uh, me, uh, Commissioner um, Olivas. Sierra with also the uh, assistance of TRAM um, and we do have a working policy um, that's uh, that's been drafted I believe uh, Mark has also had a chance to take a look at it um, there are some I think uh, legal questions um, that maybe the city could potentially address for us such as um, uh, maybe limitations or disclaimers on what may or may not be appropriate for um, a content for a uh, for piece of public art, uh, obscenity, you know, um, discrimination. I don't know if we have language like that or if that's something that we need to come up with, but that's, I know, one thing that we had identified um, should probably be in the policy. We don't have any specific language that I can think of uh, that would be um, you know, required to be placed in there, um, but certainly uh, we can we can look into that. We can work on that with you. Um, I haven't seen any of this yet, so I can't comment on any specifics. But certainly, as part of the process, I would be reviewing anything that you provide, and you know, I can help uh, with.
with any any uh, legal language that you think would be uh, um, helpful or appropriate? Yeah, because I think um, in our discussions, you know, we wanted to make sure that um, any any mural that the city were to be um, somehow associated with is not going to, uh, you know, be violate any bad messaging. Uh, yeah, bad messaging. Um, the other thing also was uh, we would need to have, uh, I think, your office probably take a look to make sure that we're not overstepping um, on city, you know, city authority or jurisdiction. So I think, um, so those are some, I think, questions that have come up uh, potentially for your office. In terms of um, the comments, I, we are actually um, having a town hall on February 5th, uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the Delhi Center. Um, and that's basically going to be an invitation for uh, members of the public to maybe come and talk about what they would like to see in a mural policy, um, what you know, questions or concerns. Because um, again, th this, this policy that we have is just a working draft. Um, and so we'd like to get some feedback from the public and see if maybe there's anything appropriate to um, incorporate. Um, and then from February to March, um, I think once we have a, a, a more final version of the draft, it's going to be, um, there, we're going to be requesting comments back from um, what Public Works, Santa Ana PD, and um, one other, P PDA, um, plan oh yeah, planning and, um, and building, and then um, get their input and also have our uh, commissioners talk to our respective council members about you know having this policy implemented um, and then the plan is to present uh, in March uh, for a um, a final a vote on the final draft so um, at that point I think it would be then submitted to the um, community development executive director to be presented to the city manager. So um, if everything goes well without any glitches, hopefully we'll have a policy in place before the summer. Um, does um, uh, Commissioner Olivas, would you like to add to? Yeah, of course. The only comment I would like to give is that these are guidelines for what the policy, sh we, for what we believe the policy should look like. So it's no legal paper just yet, but we hope to have it in place by the summer. <laughs> oh, and I think one other thing too is that um, these guidelines are primarily directed for murals that will involve um, some sort of city funding. Um, uh, and there are guidelines uh, for private murals on private property. Um, obviously, we can't really regulate or police those, but to the extent that there's maybe grants that are being given or some sort of, um, uh, yeah, whether, whether it's documentation to kind of uh, record the existence of the mural in, a, in an official catalog or whatever, um, that these would most likely be a part of a policy um, for, for the city itself um, that would be maybe attached to some grants, uh, you know, as part of the required language or whatnot so just wanted to make that distinction that we're not telling private citizens what to do on their private property and it was just act more as a best practices for the private properties you know like what should you consider correct mm -hmm. any of our commissioners have any questions or comments okay so then I think we're um, finished yeah, with our work study well, session. Um, does does the have a comment on the agenda item number, I think it's agenda item number two. Yeah, agenda item number Okay, so I was, um, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought we had two items. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's number four, number okay. Um, I think, I'm so sorry. Um, I think we have actually one more thing that we need to discuss, potentially, which is the reporting out of the commissioners of the city council. No, I'm sorry. 
I'm on the wrong, wrong, wrong agenda. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, wrong agenda. Um, okay, so it looks like we do have a public comment from Manny Escamilla. Thank you, uh, Chair and Commissioners. Uh, appreciate the time to talk on this item. And I think that um, you actually uh, addressed some of the concerns that I had initially with the mural policy, is um, making sure that we do only regulate uh, public walls and the procedures that the uh, city is going to kind of mo uh, use moving forward um, for public funding. Because uh, one of my big concerns with any kind of mural policy is that it'll have an unintended uh, chilling effect on local mural production. So I think one of the reasons why the city of San Diego has so many murals and why we're so lucky to be uh, part of this artistic hub is uh, because uh, people on their private property can create murals. Uh, so I know earlier my understanding was there was talk about regulating uh, potentially uh, private walls and I think that, that would have the unintended consequence of reducing the number of murals that are created in the city. Uh, so I know like other places like Anaheim actually um, charge upwards to $6,000 for any kind of mural permit um, and that's just because of the way that they approve um, any kind of art in the public right-of-way. So I just want to, again, I think that that's a really great direction when we're maybe uh, talking about best practices, uh, figuring out um, how uh, city funding is going to go into uh, distributing walls. I think that's all really great uh, stuff for the public mural policy. Uh, but definitely, if there's anything we can do to make sure that um, you know private citizens, private businesses can continue to create art without city interference, I, I think that that's going to be the best uh, practice overall. Um, and w with your permission, Chair, I would like to make one comment um, on the previous item, if, if possible. Sure, go ahead. Okay. Um, I just uh, you know, think that it's a really great art project, and um, when it, in regards to the landscaping, uh, if possible to have uh, milkweed, so things that actually kind of provide food mm -hmm. th for the monarch butterflies, um, mm -hmm. as a recommendation from the, from the body. Suggestion. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and I would also invite you to maybe come to our town hall. Um, no, I, I definitely will be there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any other uh, members of the public that uh, wish to make a comment? All right. Does the staff have any comments that they would wish to share with the commissioner? Yes. I'd like to uh, update commissioners on what we've been uh, major projects we've been doing. First of all, we are extending the HeartLink art program at the link at the ho homeless <laughs> shelter um, for another six months because it's been so successful. Um, uh, the constituents love it. They've, provide, they've created beautiful, meaningful artwork. I, I think I've shared some of that with you. Um, and I will be sharing the final um, six, first six months pro uh, report out to you, too. Um, secondly, we've uh, restarted um, the utility box art. Gabby and I have been working hard uh, to uh, do it two, with two, um, two parts. The first one is cleaning up and touching up the existing art boxes already, the ones that have um, had some kind of markings and vandalism on it. So we're offering to pay, um, offer the artist who, who painted those boxes a stipend to clean it up and retouch it, or, or an option to do that. If they do not um, wish to clean up their boxes, then and if it is heavily marked up, then we would paint over it and then um, add that to the pool of boxes to new artists, for new artists to paint. Um, so the second part would be the new boxes to paint. Um, there are already 11 boxes um, identified along South Main, and that one will be funded by um, by Public Works, um, we're partnering with them to do this, and then we're looking at potentially 11 more boxes um, around the city that Arts and Culture Office will be funding. So there's potentially up to possibly 22 boxes, uh, new boxes that will be painted, in addition to whatever is existing already. And will those wow. be spread out among the different wards? Uh, we're looking at main corridors. Okay. We're not looking into residential areas at the, at the moment. So we'd like it to be um, accessible and, and to drive more um, uh, traffic towards areas so they can start looking at it. Mm -hmm. you know, and then so it would bring more traffic down to South Main for people to look and shop there, let's say, rather than driving into neighborhoods at this time. Oh, I didn't mean neighborhoods. I just uh, meant... Oh, throughout those th six th wards. Yeah. 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 But we're hoping to have it where 
they, it'll be consistent along a corridor so that people can drive and see all the different boxes rather than having to drive to another ward and then just to see one-off boxes. We already did that in the first three phases. We spread it out already. Okay. So now we're focusing on different streets. Mm -hmm. So Main Street is one of the, main, of the streets that we'll focus on. Um, any more questions regarding that particular project? Or, okay. Um, and then finally, uh, we are partnering with um, Seagrestrom Center for the, for, uh, for the Arts to uh, provide an all-day professional development workshop at Del High on Saturday, April 4th. It will be all day from 10 in the morning till 4, 4 in the evening um, of different art, uh, art topics. Uh, we haven't c confirmed that yet, so once that's confirmed, I'll, I'll present that to, to everybody. And that will be free to the public. But it will include things like, again, grant writing or marketing yourself, um, even um, just different issues in the, in the art, artist community. Yes. I have a question about the um, electric boxes. Are you paying artists? Yes, we're paying artists. how much are you paying now? $400 for new boxes, new paint. Um, or new designs, and to clean up, um, we are offering, is it 200? To clean up, it's yeah. 200. 200, 200 to clean up okay. and retouch. And besides Maine, do you have, have you identified any other major street? Uh, I think Bristol is another corridor okay. we're looking at. Bristol, Maine, and what's the third? North Maine. Um, yeah. To, to attract people to South Maine. So mm -hmm. How many are existing now? 20. About 20? 20, about 20 boxes. And then yeah. 22 new ones. Correct. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. And some of the 20 boxes may, um, there's some artists who've right. said they don't mind having it painted over for a new artist to paint. So that could be added to the pool. Would too. you guys take photos of it so we can have it yes. in the archives? Yes. We've taken awesome. um, before photos, you know, mm -hmm. and then after. Yeah. Perfect. Then when they're done, we'll have the after photo. Excellent. So we've, yeah, we've cataloged all of it. We made sure to do that. Have it in our history. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Trim. Mm -hmm. um, so moving on to commissioner member comments. Uh, commission members, please note that no member may speak more than once until all have had an opportunity to speak. Also, the commission may vote to limit our comments to three minutes, three minutes each if we feel the need. So um, I guess we'll just go down the line. Um, uh, Commissioner Oliver? Oh, okay. Uh, I was wondering, is the city planning to charge a permit for murals? At this time, not yet. Okay. We're going to start first, as Commissioner um, Oliver had said, uh, oh, Olivia, sorry, Commissioner Olivia had said that we're going to start with the guidelines first and then um, get feedback from that and then move on to more uh, regulations later. And plus, because it re would require additional staffing and resources, so. So the question is really sort of open at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, I, I think part of the reason why um, we've not really gone down the, the, the discussion of permits is because then there needs to be some sort of an enforcement yeah. mechanism, which uh, the city really uh, does not have the capacity to do right now, mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Um, Commissioner Garcia? No comment. No <coughs> Just clarification of the town hall, what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. That's it. Mm -hmm. Will there be burritos? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say burritos again? <laughs> if you request it. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, 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 um, I, I have, I have nothing. Um, so I guess for now, well, the meeting is adjourned and our regular meeting is scheduled for February 20th at 5.30 p.m. And I hope to see um, our commissioners there for the, uh, the town hall. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.